What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long, 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 long time. I just been busy and waiting for the Lambo parts to come in has been a hassle, but we are here at DRP. This is the Gallardo's block. Um, had to go get it, you know, checked to make sure everything's good. After taking the whole motor apart and all that, um, I actually just, you know, I have some of the tools here and then I have this whole table right here with a couple of other tools. I got to do all the measurements and everything. So I've already did the main, the main bearing clearances, um, set those all up right. What ended up happening was that they sell three different sets of bearings for these cars. They have a blue, yellow, and red. Well, there was no blues at the time. They were on back order a couple months and they only had red and yellows. Red is kind of the thicker bearing, so you know, a little bit more tighter. And then the yellows were medium size, which the block in the crank asked for yellow uh, bearings. But when I put them all in, I think the clearances were like 15 thou, which is way too tight for the amount of power this car is gonna be running and everything like that. The suggested clearance for the main bearings was, I think, 19 to 30. Um, apparently on these 5.0 Gallardo motors, they like to run a little looser. Um, but with also the added power, you know, looser is a little bit better than tighter. So I decided to put all blues in. I finally ordered the blues, got them all in, and I put the blues in, checked the clearances, and we're at 25 thou, which is like right there in the middle, not, not on the max side, not on the min side, and I feel like 25 thou should be fine for the amount of power that we're gonna be pushing. So the bearing, the main bearing are already in here. Um, today I came to DRP to check the bore sizes and make sure that those were correct. I kind of went ahead of myself and when I had ordered the custom pistons from CP, they asked me what the pits, I had to send in the old ones to get it exactly done how UGR had it done. And, um, and actually special thanks to UGR because when I actually messaged CP about getting the same custom pistons made, they told me no. <laughs> they said I had to go through UGR, so I actually ended up emailing UGR and they actually ended up helping me get the pistons for the car. They told me I could go ahead and do it. I told them what the problem was and then CP was like, all right, cool, send them the pistons. We'll copy them to the exact spec. They asked me what the bore side was. And when I first actually checked it, I, I only used <laughs> this to check. You know, I didn't go all out. And I just took the guess because I knew that it was gonna take a few little bit. But luckily enough, when I went to go check today, actually getting one of these and actually checking, it actually worked out to the correct standard bore size. Um, checked every cylinder, top, middle, bottom, uh, crisscross, whatever, all the cylinders are still good. Everything is good. Now some of you guys are probably wondering, well, why did you have to take the motor out? Well, <laughs> what happened was, is that there was an oil leak somewhere and over time, I guess it started to lose oil pressure and it decided to take out a bearing, cylinder four bearing and completely eat it. Now, luckily enough, I checked all the cylinder walls. I checked everything and the cylinder, the actual block itself was not damaged, so I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy for that because if you guys see the cost for just the block, mm -mm, game over. But I did end up having to buy a brand new OEM crank, so it has a brand new OEM crank. Uh, ended up sending out the rods to get uh, refurbished, um, checked, to make sure that there was any cracks, whatnot. Um, I think one of them had like a small hairline crack, but got a brand new one all set to go new pistons everything like that 
Um, got that all in. Uh, I started actually, I came maybe like two weeks ago and I started cleaning up a lot of the parts. Um, this is kind of like my little thing. I think these were the old bearings, which are yellows. Yeah. And, you know, have the intake manifold, have all that here. So I ended up coming, cleaning up a lot of the parts. I had to take apart the oil pump, make sure, get any metal, anything like that. I'm actually about to go take off the turbos to go send them to um, Boost Lab in order to get serviced and cleaned and made sure that they're good to go. And the motor is honestly a, it's about to be put back together. I just got to check uh, the rod bearing clearances and I just had to wait for the rod stretch tool and the, the connecting vise so I can get the proper clearance of that because I like making sure that everything goes back to spec. And once that's done, I have to double check the pistons, make sure that the piston to wall clearance is good to go. And then once that happens, it's about time for the bottom end to be put back together. I have all the tools for it, have everything, make sure everything's torqued down, make sure everything goes back smoothly and good to go. And then I'm still waiting on the heads from uh, the shop. They had to get the valve seals because the valve seals were going bad. And they're doing a valve job, making sure that the head surfaced. Everything's good to go. The turbo kit is actually right here. So I actually got to take all this shit off and get these turbos off, which is going to be really fun because I don't think these bolts have been removed in like ages. So uh, this is really going to suck because I really don't want to remove this. But since there was oil, uh, metal and a little bit of the oil, I want to make sure that these turbos are good, ready to go and not going to cause me any issues when I put back together the car. And obviously there goes the bumper. And I'll actually go show you guys the car real quick. So, this is how the car currently sits. Um, I actually ended up ordering new tires um, a couple, probably a couple months ago. Um, I already have new tires for it. Um, one of these days when it's not hot out, I gotta come and actually clean up this engine bay because I like my shit looking nice. So I'm gonna come clean up this engine bay, make sure all this is good, um, clean up some of these lines, make sure everything's good, um, probably order new, new clamps, everything like that, and go from there because this is a little dirty and I wanna, you know, have it nice and clean. If you guys don't know, this used to be Robert, uh, Robert Himmler's car um, before he passed, rest in peace. Um, and then it went through a couple other owners, and then now I currently have it. Currently has a UGR2R in it. So, I'll actually show you the inside. There we go. Man, I can't wait to actually drive this thing for once. Has the MoTeC in it, six-speed manual, all all the nice goodies. So I'm about to work on getting these turbos off, and then I will update you guys. All right, so I know this is a pretty short video, just a little quick run through, but uh, well, guys. I got it down to that part. A lot of these bolts are already stripped, kind of. Some of these are. Um, and, it's, you know, these have not been touched in, you know, forever. Like, over probably seven years. So they're super rusted. I'm going to have to come back with a torch and a couple other proper tools in order to... Uh, get these other bolts out because I've only been able to get one bolt out right there and the rest of these have just been a pain in the ass so once I get this out um, I already got the C clamps off uh, then the turbo should be coming right off and then these can be sent out to turbo lab or boost lab and they can service them get them ready to go these big mamma jambas 
But thanks for watching, guys. I'll obviously, when I come back up here next, bring the camera, record something. And I think next time what we'll end up doing is tackling this and doing the piston wall clearance and rod, clear, rod bearing clearances. And then it's going to be hooking everything back up. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please hit the subscribe button. Please like. Ask any questions if you want. I'll try to answer them. Peace out.